Okay, we have a blanket review because my box video would not upload. I had to go out and buy a new phone and everything, which was sad. Maybe I can still get it to upload with the old phone. But we have a new baby. Yes, we do. And so we're just going to peek. I already changed. You can see it's a girl. And we're just going to get right at it. Peek -a -peek. Oops, the lighting in here is terrible. Oh. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to fix the lighting. And the lighting is not much better, so we're going to have to turn the baby, actually. So you can see her little face. She's the Amy by Sandy Faber. We're going to have to do this in daylight again. So you can see all her beautiful details. She has a little freckle by her cheek right there. She has another one up here by her eye. And she has the most amazing rooted blonde hair. I mean, it is so thick and wavy and so much fun to style. Sorry, I just knocked over my drink. <laughs> Trying to move the lamp to see the baby and just knocked over my drink on the floor. We are having severe technical difficulties. She has pierced ears. I don't like how it's washing her out, but you can see her hair is just so soft. I had to use my brush to almost like a pick, but she's really not this like a showing shine. She's not like that in person. But she just looks like this little elf face. <laughs> so her name is Gretchen Evelyn Rose. And there's <laughs> somebody's hat needs fixing. Oh, he was trying to hide from the shot. He says, I don't need a hat, but I got great hair, but it is a mess right now. This is the, oh gosh, I always forget the kits. Once you rename them, you forget the kit. Paris by Adrian Soats, I believe. I love it. Adrian Soats have a lot of her babies. He's a big chunker monkey boy, which is funny about the sleeper is the monkey tail goes right around the back. <laughs> it says, I'm taking the limelight out of my new sister. I have a big oriental boy. And he's a Sandy Faber as well. And he's a big baldy. So, with Asian eyes. So I should have modified. It's funny because her cheeks are so chubby. I, has to, I had to modify a pacifier because she has a magnet. And I'm thinking I was putting up different size pacifiers. Her cheeks stick out so much compared to her lips. I mean... Okay, if I try this again. And it's like, they would be two, like, at least a half and a quarter of an inch. So I can't have a big shield like a big man, because it wouldn't even touch your lips. Unless you stacked maybe two magnets or something. I don't know, it's funny. So it, like, it wouldn't even, it would stick out, wouldn't even touch her cheeks, you know, her lips. But, <clears throat> I still haven't tried the whole magnet thing, but. Just trying to get ones modified, and I had to find use a smaller one because I couldn't, you know, get past her cheeks with the shield. Thought that was kind of funny. And these ubaloobos work too because they're smaller. But if you get the bigger mams or anything, you think a bigger baby would we use, you know, would look better on them. You can't with these big chunks, <laughs> but because that's a tiny little mouth opening. So I'm expecting a new sister tomorrow again. Alright, bye for now. Say goodbye to the new baby. She's going to be so much fun to play with her hair and dress her. 
I put her in this outfit. She came in a little gingerbread Christmas outfit. Say bye bye. Oh, sorry. The backstory behind this baby was a friend of mine made her, and I was um, getting three other babies from her before Christmas, and then she shows me this one, and I said, "Oh, geez, I just can't swing another baby." with Christmas and everything so I thought about it and I went to dinner at Applebee's because I told my boyfriend I said you remember that baby that I was talking about when we went to Applebee's that's that's all he remembers like where we were or whatever. and he's like yeah and I said remember the blonde with all the blonde hair and she was on the present by the Christmas tree and everything so he says oh yeah I remember now and I said well she, I messaged her like an hour later and she said, oh, she sold immediately. And so, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. So I concentrated on the three babies I was getting and didn't think about it. So then last week, actually, oh gosh, about five days ago, um, <clears throat> I seen this lady that I know posted her for sale on one of the reborn groups. It was like half the cost of what my she paid my friend to make her. Or no, she was already pre-made. She paid my friend. And I said, hmm. So I said, why would you be selling her? She's like, well, I'm not used to that painting style or something. She liked more textured paint. And I was like, I hopped on immediately. I said, send me some more pictures. And I jumped on her immediately. And I said, she shipped it right that day. And... We got her two days ago, and here she is, in all her glory. Let me see if I pick her up toward the light a little bit and see her eyes more. She has, like, German glass eyes. She's not this red. So the, this is a new phone. I just set it up, like, an hour ago, so I'll have to, uh, <coughs> together. <coughs> Excuse me. Galaxy S7, so I'll have to play around with its settings and everything. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, she's just was meant to be, so. And so, she, I said she looks like a little German, kind of like German little elf, but her, so we named her Gretchen. It just stuck. So there she is. Say bye-bye for now.